How'd you hit it? I must. There must be something else in the hole. Oh. Here, see if you. Oh wait, wait, wait! You just got something unplugged. Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> All right. Oh, well, Matt, he just got an awesome bale seal. Look at that. South Florida Railroad, number two, in perfect shape. That is awesome. Wow, man. Yeah, you got to see what else is in there because if that's wow. not even ringing, let me see. Let me. Oh, yeah. 82, right? 81, something like that. 60, 62. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go back in as soon as I plug back in. Got to be something else. Right on. When we get back at it, we get something else. So let's see. Alrighty, Lake. Howdy, GDBL man, back. We're back at our uh, old house over here in the historical area. It's not the farmhouse. It's another one we hit before. But, uh... We needed a change in scenery for a little bit. But we hit this spot. It's where I got the three silvers in the hole. But I got this signal here. It was like a 50, 52. But it wasn't giving me the low tone. It was giving me a high, high tone. Like an 80s high tone. But it was giving me a low uh, ID. So I, I'm not sure what the deal was. But I get down there. I don't know. It's got to be eight eight plus inches and uh check this out it's a 1908 v nah, dang i can't see it. it's so sunny out here i hope you guys can see that but look at the color it's like so brown and it's got pitting on it but we went over this spot I don't know how many times. That just goes to show you that you can't dig at all. Plus, this was deep. I'm surprised. Uh, gave a dead-on ID, but the, the tone was way off, man. I'm not sure what's up with that. That's a first for me, but... Yeah. 1908 V-Nickel. And uh, Matt just got his bale seal, so... I guess we missed some stuff. We're going to go back over it here and hit it up for a while. We get something else cool and we'll get back with you. Alrighty, late. Alrighty. We got a new permission. This church here. This is 138 years old, so mid 1800s. And uh, so far I got a uh, 67 dime, uh, a 66 dime, a 65 dime, some old key, uh, 59 penny, another 59 penny, it's like just barely missing the wheats and the silvers and then uh, get me here, get a 74, 75, it's about, I don't know, 6 inches down, I got me an Indian, it's a 1902 looks like, uh, it's okay shape. I sprayed it off a little bit so I can get the date and stuff, but not bad, I guess. Another Indian. So we're gonna keep hitting around here. I'm here with Matt. That's my digging buddy. And uh, we're gonna see what else we can't find here. We find something good. We'll get back with you and we'll vid it. All right, hope you guys are doing uh, good out there digging. Everybody best of luck. All right, see ya. 57 well I got a 1957 wheat hope you guys can see that because sun's so bad out here oh there we go 57 wheat and uh I don't know it's pretty deep down here what what's wheat you got you got a harmonica reed now and you got a 20 25 25 wheat yes you should 25 wheat and a harmonica reed so far and what's that thing that said uh disabled americans key tag disabled americans key tag return to sender postage paid pretty cool yeah man. we're right here by uh the railroad the depot and stuff checking along here see what we can find well lots of trash but at least i got a wheat we're going to keep going around here, see what we can find, and then if anything else, we'll get back with you. Alrighty, Lee. 
Alrighty, back again. Uh, I don't know, about 20 yards away from the last, the Indian. <clears throat> Got another mixed signal here. 78, 79, 80. Just kept going back around circling. I knew it was going to be a penny or something, but wasn't sure if it was going to be a copper one, but it sure was. Got a 1940. There we go. 1940 wheat. Not bad. Shape. I guess we're going to keep going back around. See what else we can find. If you find anything else good, we'll get back with you. I'm ready, late. Alrighty, GDVL man here. Digging with Matt today. We got a new permission over here at this church. Uh, I think it's 138 years old or something, she said. But uh, I got an Indian. Got a couple of wheats. You know, some some dimes that just barely missed the silver, but uh, one over here wasn't even three inches down. You have a banging signal. And I got a 1937 Merc. Have to spray it off some, but I bet you it'll clean up nice. This looks really nice. But uh, good deal, good deal. We're gonna get back at it. If anything else good, uh, I'll get it. All right, see you soon. Late. No, GDVL man, back. Got something different here. Looks like one of those uh, lipstick containers. These two pieces come apart, see? But it's all broke. It was like that when I dug it. But it goes on there like that, you see? So, I don't know, that's something different. Pretty neat. It was only a few inches down, too. Probably right because people are driving over this spot right here is probably why it's all crushed. But uh, no markings or nothing that I can see. But anyway, pretty cool. Alright, we're going to get back at it. See if we can't find something else. Alrighty, see you soon. Late. Alrighty, GDVL man back. Got a little hole about right here. Again, only about three inches. I got me uh, 42 Weedy. Pretty good shape. I'll spray this off and uh, might be able to give it to the boy for his book if he needs it. Sweet deal, sweet deal. Got another week. Alrighty, we're gonna keep going at it. There's Matt over there. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna go see what he's been finding real quick. He said he's been killing the clad, so go check it out. Alrighty, we'll get back with you late. All right, GDVL man, back. Man, these are these are a trip. This ground is really hard for Florida. In a hole here, it's not even three inches. And I just pulled a, looks to me like a 54 Washington. But uh, yeah, it's a trip. I mean, there we go, 1954. Well, that stuff ain't coming off. I'll get some foo-foo juice on it. Maybe uh, spray it off and look better. But yeah, man, three inches. We're still at this uh, this new church permission we got over here. And uh, good deal. Second silver of a long day. But still, there we go. 54 in the pocket. I gotta go show Matt real quick. I know he's gonna be all jealous. Let me get some foo foo on this and then spray it off, and then I'll go over there and uh, rub it in. <laughs> Let me go see what else he's found. There he is, right there. Oh, he already knows. He already knows. Alrighty. If we find anything else, we'll get back with you. Alright, late. Alrighty, GDBL man here. Me and Matt are out here. 
hunting around this lake, El Gator Lake, and off Jessup here. And uh, like three holes. You can see one hole's right there, and the other hole is right over there. I come over here. Both of those holes had a 66 and a 65. And they were dimes. I get down in this hole, I get another 66 dime. And off to the side of it, whenever you scan the hole, you got another hit. It's 88, 89, hitting high. So went back after it, and I got a 62. Finally, finally got a silver. Finally. A good deal, good deal. We're going to keep uh, scoping out this area here. When we find something else, uh, we'll show you. Boy, it's hot out today. Dang it. Alrighty, late. Alrighty, I'm back. We're circling the area where I found the uh, silver dime and the clad in the hole. I'm just a couple feet away right here. I get a coin ball. These were stuck together. This quarter and this uh, nickel were stuck together in a big old clump. I can't get a date off either one of them, but uh, you can see they got some nice pretty colors on them. Not sure on the date yet. Have to scrub them up when I get home. They were pretty nasty. I tried to spray them off as best I could, but that other stuff ain't coming off. So I have to get some picks to see what's up. And what'd you just get? Another quarter? 1980. Oh, an 80s? All right. Well, I guess we'll keep circling here and see what else we find. Alrighty, late. 